What's up guys, it's Johnny Valentine, Gain Solar, coming at you with an informational video about combiner boxes. This is uh, one of my least favorite parts of the solar install, but it's until we figure something out on really making AC coupled an awesome and affordable solution, there's going to be a lot of DC coupled systems out there still, and most of them you can only take two or three panels four at the most and, and series them up before you start having too high a voltage and on the coldest day of the year and you end up having to do a uh, combiner so a combiner box is where you would let's say you would take one two three let's see you had two more panels or, th or one more panel you'd series these panels together and then you'd have the positive on one end and the negative on the other and you might have four maybe ten groups like that well, you've got to have a way to combine the positives and the negatives together and that's when you use a combiner box so this is this is an mnpv6 by midnight solar here's another old one but it's got provision for den rail breakers that's den rail right there that right there you snap on 150 volt midnight den rail breakers and um, usually 15 amps on grid tie panels and then it's got a negative bus bar and positive bus bar. These are kind of like the industry standard. This one's been all modified to, to heck. So uh, in the manual, it says you can bolt these on up to a 15 degree slope of a roof. And once it's more than, I think it's once it's less than four and 12, it needs to either be upright. So the tilt, the tilt on this guy, this one's not connected to anything. So you could mount it up against the wall or you could mount it on flat to the roof to a certain tilt and once it gets to 4 and 12 I think you're not allowed to mount it any you can't mount it like that on the roof but you could mount it like that you see these get mounted on pan, under panels you see these get mounted in different spots be careful when you're mounting stuff underneath solar panels you're creating a habitat for the squirrel so um this is just a combiner box that I'm repurposing that I took off of a job. I'm sending this to one of my customers where I thought, hey, this would be a great informational video. So each one of your solar circuits is coming in right there. So that would be all these female connectors. You can see the whips coming off. So these have female connectors on the end of them. They'll hook on to the positive of the, pot of the panel. You go into the breaker, gets its overcurrent protection, and then they all bite onto this bus bar and the power goes out and that's what goes to the charge controller all the negatives are coming down it's called a PV wire cord grip it's got a little uh, I'll, I'll show you one but it's got a uh, and then the PV wire cord grips these are all these go into the negatives of the solar modules uh, a PV wire cord grip they come in all different sizes I got my shop's a mess whatever that's a PV wire cord grip. That one's been used, but you can see it's got the little rubber gasket in it. And um, they're made by Heiko. That's a three quarter for PV wire. It's got, I think it's, it's got, uh, there's, there's a big bag of them here. But, uh, mm, that's a nice one. I've seen these in a lot of my videos. PV wire cord grip. And then you you obviously have your conduit coming out in the middle or something. But I'm fixing to ship this off. So this would take three strings of solar panels uh, up to 150 volts. So you could do four panels in a string uh, in, in your warmer climates. And then when you get real cold, you probably only want to do three panels in a string. And this will take... Uh, 12 modules this is gonna this is gonna go for 12 panels almost 3,000 watts and combine it and send it back to the charge controller so if you guys have any questions about charge controllers read the manual on the new website look at it there's, there's a line diagram on the basic combiner it's very similar to what I'm doing right here uh, this is Sturdivant Richmont Sturdivant Richmont Roto Torque Cal 36.4. I'll do a review on this sometime. But this uh, is a torque screwdriver, and this allows you to get perfect torque on these. I have had situations where 
these just were weird. This is going to go, remember this is going up on a roof somewhere. It's going to have uh, all kinds of hard life. So you want to make sure that your connections are really good. That you're torque to spec. You know, this is, this is a part where you want to do it right the first time. You don't want to go back up on the roof because of the combiner box. Um, this is the lid. The lid goes on like that. I'm kind of not super fun to put on. And of course it has a dead front that fits on. You can look at all that on the Midnight website. But this is not that hard to wire up once you kind of get the principle of it. And then this is kind of a... You, you can't really call this jack leg because solar farms do it left and right. But uh, they, they make... Uh, Shoals has a big lead assembly that's one of these things. But the they're just and they miss that connector they just basically make uh, these and they'll put inline fuses so there would be like right here there would be an inline fuse here there would be an inline fuse and then here there would be an inline fuse and if you did that you could have a you know a setup where um, you were combining three strings of panels and you would don't need any uh, combiner box so like this this would be a a cheaper and easier solution but not field serviceable you can't get in there and troubleshoot it and test the meter and stuff but on solar farms you're gonna see these a lot just using Y connectors and you could totally do this with under I wouldn't want to do this with like six strings but three strings I'm definitely gonna send these to my customer she's gonna pop these in and use some uh, jumpers that I made her and she's not gonna have to install a combiner when she's already got a perfectly good working solar array she's going to put an inline fuse on each one of her strings and be done with it so this is uh this is the same this this little setup right here now it needs inline fuses on the uh, positives which the positives would actually hook into there so it needs to have some inline fuses here but this is going to do the same thing as a uh, combiner box as far as you know ele electrically speaking it's not going to do the same thing from a box standpoint. So this is Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar signing out. I do sell material all over the state. But uh, my bread and butter's, you know, the install, but also helping out the DIYer on their on their installs. Keep you from making some mistakes, give you some tri tricks to the trade. So uh, de definitely get in touch with me through this, my YouTube or my website, Gain Solar. We can help you guys. I'm working with Engineer 775. We're, we're moving those solar panels. Thanks for watching.